Okay, being a black, didn't even want to make a video, but you gotta check this out. They don't even want you to see this, so I'm gonna show you what you can see on this. Okay, so that, this is blown up a thousand, and this is basically from, you can see right there, NASA today on the 12th. And we'll pop down on size here. What's really interesting is you can see this here dark object in front. And what's unusual is you see when it flops this side on this one here, and this is a vast distance between this and this and space, and even possibly this, and those are these floppers that we keep seeing. The number one thing is, I think I'll be able to pan down here, it's either Mercury, and you better hope it's Mercury, because if it's not Mercury, and if this is Venus, I mean Jupiter, I apologize there, but if this is Jupiter, okay, which wouldn't surprise me, but it's either Jupiter or Mercury, the idea that these separately are not that damn small, very large, all these two, can, we're not changing size and we'll just scan down, okay? So there you go. And even if it is just Mercury, which is smaller than Jupiter, you still have a very huge size on there. Okay, and as you can see, e electrical, as we know, it's no surprise because we know that Cygnus and also the Jupiter that they found electrical signals from. Okay, well that's an electrical signal. Okay that or some reason Mercury or Jupiter is deciding to act like the Sun okay which also proves more that the idea that it may have gotten a CME so that it's on fire or something to do with its hemispheres or something whatever it has for and they are constantly checking feverishly now since about 2006 to see what a lot of planets actually have for atmosphere okay so as I zoom out of this I'll go to like 400 and you'll get an idea of what they're blocking out and then we appreciate it because we know that one way or the other we get the truth because when they block something and also it's a good wink wink like a look at this okay because see these are vast distances in space okay and this is kind of a peak view of what they're probably hiding here and here and to make proof of it you can just zoom in on this and you can get an idea of the spinners that must be around whatever they're hiding there and hiding here. And we know that they've liked to hide stuff like this before, okay, no matter what. As you've seen as me, that blown up. And I'll just go ahead and pop that up again. Hit zoom. We'll custom it to a thousand. And let's take another peeky poo and then basically also looking at that electrical connection over here of some sort in space. And that's what they're really getting PO'd and keeping my you know what's down so the idea people don't look at it because basically no matter what and then them showing what they do with two satellites and no these are not satellites folks this is what they learned to match a pair of satellites up to do their work is what they were seeing stars doing in triangulation with electrical energy in space because that's electrical energy and also IE when we go and look at I'm pretty doggone sure that it's mercury okay I'm not even going to waste time looking at the deal. I just want to pop this video up. Now, if I'm wrong about which one, I don't really care. Because it's either Jupiter or Mercury. And Jupiter should be hella bigger. So, actually, I think this is Mercury. Which is looking big and large right now because it's been getting CME action from the sun. There you go. And more than likely, the sun, yes, folks, is no bigger than that. Okay? So, the glow and also probably CME action. And as you see, either moving very fast or electrical energy or signal going out to one other planet of some sort or CME action flare reactive to a CME that we've called CME reactive flare and not an inner uh, lens flare of a flipping camera okay and we pretty much all that know that now especially after they call it sun grazing comets and we know that we see comets hit the sun all the flipping time for many years okay so this is blown up a thousand at the one on the right covered up a little bit and as you can see an interesting dark object there behind okay so there and then basically just looking a vast amount of space ac around space we go back up we go across but they're blocking there and then we see what we have trailing it and there also these V actions harrows farm boys so I know what a harrow looks like it's basically what the shovel a modern day harrow shovel for going in the ground and tearing your farm dirt up okay you can remember back to the big old spade that the oxen and the workhorses, mostly perchins, 
Clydesdales are just pretty horses, ladies and gentlemen. They're a good workhorse too, but Perchance will out pull a Clydesdale any day of the week. So you see that harrow action that you see. And there's some famous companies down here on Earth that use harrows for uh, some of their logos on their company vehicles and so forth. So anyway, one of a thousand, very interesting there. And so we go down and one more time, take a look at Mercury. A duh. So we're getting some interesting action up there. And I guess, and it's just a BS, folks, because you know the pixels don't just go, oh, that just didn't report right there. That's a bunch of BS, okay? There's something there they didn't want you to see. And this is vast amount of space from there to there behind the sun, or in front of the sun, actually, because I think this is a headshot. So vast distances and stuff that they don't want you to see, okay? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very eye-opening, as you can see with your eyes, because you'll take this shot of mine, and you can blow it up more. Take a snapshot, blow it up some more, because there's definitely some decent, respectable shapes right there, okay? So, anyway, very new stuff all over, because, as I say, the Earth would be the smallest little pixel that you'd probably pick out of this shot, a very tiny pixel, just the point of my pointer, not the yellow that I think will show up on the video, but just my pointer's very tip, just the size of that very tip of the pointer on anybody's mouse pointer would be the size of Earth next to the sun, okay? So, very interesting stuff. So, let's see what else we can pop in. I just wanted to make sure that I got a hold of these couple subjects, and basically I don't even upload this till tomorrow, I don't think. So, or whenever. So, lots of the stuff that we're seeing out there. So, way more stuff than what they even go looking at with uh, uh, and what's more way more believable than these is the idea that a lot of those photos that we get from I mean are just too freaky looking in a sense but at the same time hey I somewhat believe that it. it's all the freaky but I like this stuff a lot better this is more way more realistic looking even though we know that this is blue colorization and basically let me go to the black and white because here's what they're blocking out on the black and white, you know. So, I mean, it's just very realistic shots, you know, because of the, it's it. It's what's out there. It's no airbrush. You know nobody's touched it. This stuff's out there. So, thank the Navy for these shots and all the armed forces, because who knows? Maybe the Navy's down and they're borrowing an Army satellite for the night. And, yes, I know that, oh, it can be only be the SOHO satellites. Okay, you don't know everything. Okay, because they're not going to tell you everything. Okay, we've got lots of satellites out there. Way to flip out there. Where's Pioneer at, folks? Okay, they're still running out there. NASA still gets data back from the Pioneer satellites. Yep, the one with the gold plate on it, folks, with the signs to talk to whatever would possibly. And then that's always been the thing, too, is why would enough scientists, and basically back in the day, I remember Johnny Carson's show. They didn't joke around about it. They basically put it on there. So the idea if there was to be something out there, that there would be a something for something to read. So whatever. I don't believe in Martians. I don't believe there's anything out there. But then the scientific mind of the idea to take a look at Earth any day of the week and see what I've showed you in some of my videos of the idea that when you look down at Earth, we've been here a hell of a long time. So scientifically you'd have to always agree that the idea there's always a possibility there would be another part of us that got spanked out there into space somewhere during the big bangs or whatever you know or just whatever you know so it's not out of the realm martians forget it us yes we are that much of a pain in the ass that there's probably another pain in the ass out there somewhere in the universe ladies and gentlemen that's how much of a pain in the ass us humans are Okay, just think about how many people you cannot stand their flipping guts, okay? Well, I guarantee there's probably something out there, okay, but not a Martian. Not some freaky UFO, not, uh, but someday, and it's just communication, because more than likely, just like Bino would do, I'd stuff one, okay? So, talk to the rest of them, stuff the first one, okay? So anyway, you don't want Sasquatch getting away, right? So, anyway... That's the biggest bunch of Shiite that's ever walked the face of the earth. So, anywho's, don't try talking to a grizzly bear either, folks. They don't want to talk to you. Okay? It's dangerous. So, 
it's kind of dangerous to talk to me in person too. See, so anywho, I got this stuff out there. I'm gonna pop back down to 400 on this. To oh, uh, here. Say so basically get a little look. So interesting, interesting stuff out there. So kind of got to cut this short in a sense because I didn't get a roll. So. Tonight's shot, and I guess basically check out the Nehemiah action too. I had some friends saying there was some more electrical action going on there at Nehemiah. And I, we've seen what happened when they put that little electrical motor windmill out there. So, and we've seen what it's done to the back of it because that's where, where they have their generators at Nehemiah. And let me just put back in here again what I found a long time ago. I think I can put that in. And yes, folks, most every th I mean thing I mean I'm thousand percent factual 100 percent factual everything okay so because like i put on when a good factual of it is if you go to this one of mine okay i'll just pop to it they fake bacon us they're trying to make what we've already seen truthful down there to be fake okay by putting these fake videos out there psy out videos now not this portion of my video but basically in it i show you i don't know if it'll load fast enough but in it, I show you the shot footage that the guy was taking down in Antarctica, and somebody uh, put something in. And I'm not going to say the actual name of, like, the other one, too, that the idea a long time ago they had people standing in radiation suits or something like that down there at Nehemiah. What we've seen down there is what we've seen. We didn't even see any damn UFOs. We've seen Planet X. See, this is the fake job that they put on us, okay? As far as I know, this here was fake. It was put in. It was engineered. The numbering up here in the corner was messed up, and that's why I put on this Beano Black All Rights Reserved because the idea that we busted them. We I don't confirm this at all. I think this is fake bake. This here here. Okay. We have seen a dark object in the sky before. We know that this is real. This here is fake bake BS. Okay. So and that's why I put the the name I put on the on this video. I put hmm, you decide. Okay. And basically, from what I can tell. That's a fake one because the rest of the footage too, it has the names and stuff. Now, if they can legitimately put it with all the Nehemiah text up there and give us a real it, but I haven't had them do that. Everything I've seen has had no Nehemiah text. Yep, all a bunch of BS. This here, okay, but not this over here. Now, this is my old cursor cur cur action, okay. So we know that this is real here, here, and somewhat this, but this here, it's still pretty until someone gives us a full playing video of it all the way through. That's why I put this up here, folks, because we busted them on this being BS, okay? So, when we're showing a bunch of truth, it's pretty crazy that a bunch of people start doing PSYOP crap. So, all I can smell is power, money, and control, folks. Now, this is all real, and this is what we've seen happen around near I can't remember if it was either thanks, uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas, okay? And... We don't really have a date here, but the idea that you can go back to when we were originally, I think, in the footage it'll, on the on the time shot on this video. So this is the video of this one here, and actually I'm trying to start thinking if this is the one where I found the old one and then went ahead and shown the new action of the windmill thing. So I can go ahead here, maybe it'll pop in. But anyway, this is a good video to go check out because basically that happened. That actually was something to do with that star hitting the back. And I basically have to emphasize they have generators on that backside, okay? Electrical current, okay? It's getting turned around in there on the generators, okay? And then they put that windmill out, and I think it might be in this video, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to play it through. Oh, i gotta, I got to hurry up and roll here. So i got to reload snapshot, and then uh, haven't lost any pictures. Got all the pictures. So, but anyway, there's, so that's why I had to hurry up and show this video on tonight. So I'll pop back here real fast. We'll look at artists real fast. And then we will oh, yeah, go wild radar action. Yeah, so I'm not sure what all. Yeah, I was basically going back and showing through my video. So I think I might have that uh, windmill in this video here. So this one's an interesting one to watch, folks, because I'll show that. You know, you'll, you'll actually see that where I was showing you there where that comes down and hits the back of the Nehemiah station. Okay, and then there's, I think the windmill action is in there also. So. And then, like I say, people people go and fake bake this BS here, okay? And that's why I put the title on there is, hmm, you decide, you know? Because it sure looks like fake bake BS to me that they put that, they put that piece in there, okay? They actually put some other space shot of something in there, so. So, 
let's see what we got more later in the week.